now time for our cooking segment and this morning we have Carrie Snyder, a dietitian with the Diabetes and Nutrition Center out of Northeast Missouri Health Council here this morning and we are going to be learning how to make some energy bites. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great too. So, so this is a great substitute for like a granola bar or something mm -hmm. like that and it's something that easy the kids can help make. So what we have, we have a cup of just quick oats and mm -hmm. I'm going to add all our dry ingredients. This is about two thirds cup of unsweetened um, uh, coconut, just shredded coconut. Mm -hmm. You could also find toasted coconut would add, add a little bit of extra flavor. Um, so I'm gonna add all my dry ingredients together. And then this is a half cup of ground um, flaxseed or you might find in the store it'll say flax meal. Mm -hmm. um, so same thing. Okay. okay. And then we do, we have about half cup dark uh, chocolate Mm -hmm. And we're going to add, so it's going to add some sweetness. That and was then, nose. And then we have um, a tablespoon of chia seeds. So I'm going to kind of mix all these dry ingredients together first. And then we're going to start adding our wet ingredients. Kind of make it all combined together. Yes, it, it just makes it more evenly combined. You're correct. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is about a third cup of honey. And I like to get local honey whenever I can. Mm -hmm. That's always good, shop local, so, huh? Yes, I'm a big proponent of shopping local, mm -hmm. getting it from our local farmers. And this is what's gonna add the sweetness to it as it's well? It's gonna add the sweetness and it's kind of your binder. Okay. When I think of it that way. Okay. Um, also, we have just a teaspoon of vanilla. And then another binder to this is um, some peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's about a half cup. You could do, you know, the low fat peanut butter, or if you did um, <coughs> freshly ground peanut butter, that's mm -hmm. gonna be lower in sugar because a lot of our peanut butters have added sugar to mm -hmm. them. Um, so it's just kind of whatever your, your desire is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix, whoops, mix this up. Yeah, it really is binding, isn't it? There we go. And you're just going to continue be doing that to use my spatula. <laughs> and but you're yep. just going to continue doing that until you get the yep. consistency of yep. mush, I guess you can yep. say. Yeah. <laughs> About how many times can you expect to uh, be uh, mixing it around, or how you, long? You could you could work this for about a good minute, so you could okay. get a little bit of a workout, Troy. Now, okay. would you <laughs> would you recommend maybe using your hands for this instead, if you had gloves or if you washed yeah, your hands before? Yeah, if beforehand? you wanted to, I mean, you know, yep, you could. But the spatula works much better. Oh than yeah, I could right. see. And all you're trying to do is get the dry all combined. Mm -hmm. And then once you're done mixing this um, all together, you're gonna throw it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, and on. that just makes it easier because we're gonna make these little little balls with about one inch. So you wanna you wanna throw it into the refrigerator first for the 30 minutes before you actually make them into the little balls. Yep. Exactly. It just makes it easier to handle. Okay. It's a little compact, I guess. Yep. Exactly. Right. So, and that's pretty much mm -hmm. all mixed together. So, we're going to switch out because what I have here on the left is some that I did. I, I pre-made and it's been sitting in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So, all we're going to do, like I said, we're just making one inch little balls with it. And these are something you could put in a... Uh, like a plastic container and keep mm -hmm. in the fridge for a week or something I like to do a lot of times with things like this is lay out a uh, like a cookie sheet put some wax paper on them mm -hmm. and then freeze them freeze them eight to ten hours um, and then throw them in a freezer bag and then that way they'll you can keep them in the freezer probably up two to three months but you can grab them out whenever you want. Yeah, okay. there's a little snack when you're heading yep. out. So usually I think the serving size for these is about two. Okay. Um, so which then ends up being equal to about a lot of the same calories as a lot of our granola bars. Okay, but, very good. Wow, yeah. awesome. So what we'll do is we'll continue making um, the little granola energy uh, bites and then when we come back we'll show off the finished product even though we already have it right here but then yep. of course we'll taste it because that's the <laughs> yes. favorite part. That's so favorite of the whole entire part. show on Fridays. Welcome right. back if you're just joining us. We just made Energy Bites with Carrie Snyder, a dietitian with the Diabetes and Nutrition Center with Northeast Missouri Health Council. And very easy to make. Uh, we used, I, th I think, seven to eight ingredients, if mm -hmm. that. Uh, fun thing to do with your kids. Healthy version, homemade version.
conversion to granola bars and uh, you can enjoy it for uh, many days to come if you freeze them beforehand yeah. too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. really quickly just because uh, we don't have too much time but just yeah. the ingredients that we used. So we used oats, we used um, chocolate chips, we used coconut flakes, we used uh, mealed flax seed and some chia seeds, and then we had honey, peanut butter, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. And really then you good. just mixed it all it, together. We mixed it all together. I t recommend refrigerating it for about 30 minutes. It's easier than to handle when you're making your, your mm -hmm. balls. Refrigerate in a plastic container for a week, or like I said, lay them out, freeze them individually, and then put them in a Ziploc bag. All right. And uh, mm -hmm. now, is this going to be a little bit healthier than the store bought granola I mean, bars? Or the nice thing is, you're getting a lot of omega three fatty acids from the flax seed and also the chia seeds, mm -hmm. and getting some natural fiber from that way. It, the th I wouldn't say from a, like if we look at the nutrition information, is it any healthier? I wouldn't say any different, but it's it's definitely. You know, like we said, seven ingredients versus yeah. a lot of and you can make it at home. Yeah, and always the so, pride yeah. of making it yourself. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll post the recipe on our website at ktvo.com. Thank you again so much for coming on today. Thank you. thank you. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope you have a fabulous weekend, and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 5:30 a.m.